What's going on everyone? We got an oldie but a goodie. We got a 2005 Acura TL. I love this body style and we're doing a big job on it. So let's go ahead and let's check it out right now. Okay, so this car just went through a whole bunch of maintenance. We went ahead, I replaced the fender on this side. I put base and I put clear on it. That way it all matches. It's gonna be a lot easier for me to blend. We're gonna go ahead and blend into the door. I went ahead and I'm blending the A-pillar on both sides on the house just to make sure my color matches and it's a nice consistent job. We're going ahead and blending into this door as well. We get all of our moldings, everything removed for a nice factory job. We also have our brand new bumper here. All right, so we really let that sealer flash for a good 30 to 45 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and pop on one more coat. I'm just gonna go around all my edges with a very high temp producer. This is a melt away pretty much, and I'm gonna melt away all those sealer edges, although they are pretty smooth already. I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, base into this area. Since it's all white already, it's gonna be really easy from here. Only probably two or three coats. My first coat of base into here uh, and into here just past my sealer. Let's go ahead and we'll pop that on real quick.
We allowed the bakes to dry for about a good 30 minutes and man, we are ready to go. Now what I did on my blend panel area here is I marked off first coat of clear, second coat of clear, and where I'm gonna buzz it in. And I just keep this wide open, right? I don't, I don't make no hard line or anything like that. That's just gonna ruin what I'm trying to do. I'm even gonna tear this off right here because I don't want any sort of line. I just wanna keep it nice and open. And like I said, the base that's nice and smooth, it's gonna allow for nice and smooth clear to land, get our nice blend right here. And then once again, first coat, second coat, and then our little blend area, keeping this wide open. And for clear, I'm gonna use an oldie but a goodie, the LPH 400, just to prove to you guys, you don't need any fancy gun. You just need a good gun. And this is one of the best guns of all time made by Iwata. Let's go ahead and let's start spraying. Man, first coat down and it looks phenomenal so far. I didn't go overboard. It's got a nice texture to it. A little dry in a couple areas. So we're gonna clear that up with the second coat, okay? Now over in here, we went over to our first number one and then we'll go number two and then just buzz it in with some blender. I don't wanna go overboard here. It looks really smooth and I don't wanna to go too much because I don't want it to run off the panel. I'm happy with the way it looks so far. So let's go ahead, allow it to flash a good mo 10 more minutes and we'll hit up that second coat. All right, so there we have it. A beautiful coat of clear is all down on the bumper and on the um, whole car. We're gonna go ahead and send this to bake and then we'll go ahead and get it assembled up, see how it looks in the daylight. All right, so I hope you learned something from that video. Now, what I did is I added those subtitles down below to really give you clear, concise information. A lot of the questions that you ask in the comments, I tried to address them with those subtitles right there so i hope they worked let me know if they work for you now guys if you want to support the channel and you want to go ahead and purchase some merchandise we got this brand new shirt back in stock this is actually the first version now i can't promise you you'll look as good as i do in this shirt but if you want to give it a try they are great they're 100 percent cotton nice and comfortable when you're working so the tl is all done I'm about to show you some clips but in the meantime this is brian from paint society reminding you don't overthink it, it's just paint. Let's go ahead and check it out. 